Hey guys, for those of you who are tuning in for, to my channel for the first time, hi, my name is Shannon. I am currently 38 weeks pregnant with my third baby, my first girl, and I thought I would make a what I'm putting in my hospital bag video. I don't believe I made this with my first two pregnancies. So I thought it'd be fun to show you all what I'm packing. I feel like I have a pretty good judge of what you do and don't need, being that this is my third time going to the hospital to have a baby. And I see a lot of these videos and a lot of people end up packing things that you just don't need. A lot of times the hospital will provide you <laughs> with a lot of supplies and so I'm hoping this video will help give you some ideas and help you avoid overpacking, which I'm probably still overpacking even given the amount of knowledge that I have. First, let me tell you things that you absolutely do not need to pack. Diapers, do not pack. In fact, make sure before you leave the hospital that you clean out the cart that has diapers from the hospital. Um, and take those extra diapers with you. Same goes with wipes. The hospital has wipes for you. Really, you don't need clothes for the baby other than a going home outfit. And I guess if you wanna do like a birth announcement photo, like you could bring a swaddle or something, but you really don't need like everyday clothes because the hospital provides that for you. The hospital also has swaddle blankets. So you really don't need your own if you don't want to and you're fine with using the blankets. Other things you don't need to take are medicine. Obviously the hospital will provide you, not with a lot, I think it's just Tylenol or Ibuprofen <laughs> to help with pain, but you don't need to bring any of that stuff. So yeah, in terms of baby, a lot of your stuff is already gonna be there at the hospital. So do not bring that stuff, you will not need it. Also breastfeeding things like a pump. The hospital has a pump if you really need to use it. But nine times out of 10, I think most moms don't have their milk fully come in until they're home from the hospital. And so you really won't be doing much pumping anyway. So let's get into what I'm bringing. I have two bags here. I went down to my basement and I got my small carry-on suitcase. And then I also have um, just a little bag of my Vera Bradley bag. So I'll do my bag first. So in my bag, it's not much. I just have my Boppy nursing pillow. Technically, you don't need this. The hospital will provide you with pillows on your bed, but I like nursing on this. It's a lot easier than having to like situate the pillows and everything. So I didn't know to bring this for my first one, but I brought it for my second pregnancy and it helps so much in the hospital. So I definitely recommend bringing it. I know some people like the My Breast Friend or some people like the Boppy. I like the Boppy, but it's really whatever your preference is. I highly suggest bringing this. The rest of the stuff that's in my bag, this is honestly just my snack bag. I don't know how your hospital is, but ours does not have the best tasting food. And also with hospitals, they only will serve you uh, certain times of the day. After a certain point in the evening, they just turn the kitchen off and then you're just kind of stuck. So unless you're you know, willing to go out and get extra food, I highly suggest bringing in snacks. Even if you don't eat any of them, you can always just take them home and eat them then. So it's really no skin off your bones. So I just picked up random things. My husband really likes Pringles, so I got like to-go Pringle bags. I love goldfish. So I have goldfish, I have combos, peanut butter crackers to try to give me like just some protein. When you are nursing and after you've given birth, you are so hungry. And especially nursing, you're so hungry all the time. And so I highly suggest having snacks because you're gonna want it. In addition to all the snacks, I'm also bringing candy because sometimes you just want something sweet to suck on, you know? So I got some mints and I got Skittles. My husband and I love Skittles. My husband's absolute favorite candy is um, 
gummy bears so I thought I would get this for him because husbands need support too they go through a lot even though they're not birthing the baby and then I'm obsessed with these nerds gummy clusters they are so so good so not that many snacks but just something to like hold us over i'm just i'm a foodie i'm such a food person i don't want to necessarily like have to make my husband go out and get extra food although i will tell you my always my number one requested meal after i give birth is a subway sandwich because i love them so much and i give them up for pregnancy because of the meat you just don't know how that's gonna be but if we wanted to stay in the hospital, and like with my second, we had to stay in the hospital because it was the pandemic, and if my husband left, he wasn't able to come back. And so we had to just have like everything in the hospital with us. Big in the snacks. So I would definitely suggest packing some snacks to bring with you. The hospital will not care. I even see some people bring like alcohol, like champagne to toast the baby, baby's birth and different things like that. I don't know that I'm gonna bring like drinks. The hospital provides you with, you know, that huge water cup. And I think that's kind of what I'm gonna be drinking. And then of course we'll get drinks like with our meals. So I don't know that I'll bring a drink. Maybe I'll pack like a Powerade or two. But other than that, it's really just food. And then moving on to my suitcase. For baby's announcement, I am packing my letter board. I did this with my second born and I really liked it. So I'm packing um, my felt letter board and then the letters to go with it so that I can like write her name and date of birth and time and weight and all that good stuff so that we could take a cute birth picture. I'm also packing just one cute swaddle blanket. Just, I love the pink on it. I think I'll like swaddle her in it to get that picture um, of her being born. Something that I don't usually see on what to pack in your hospital bag is bringing your own swaddles. So my husband and I, we really don't like swaddling baby with blankets. I just, for whatever reason, we can never get it tight enough. The baby always comes out, they free their arms, and then they wake up earlier. And so we honestly like the Velcro swaddles way better. Um, I got these at Target. They're called Swaddle Knees. Love this brand. I've used it for both of my kids and I plan on using it for baby girl. So I'm bringing a couple because they're bound to get ruined and spit up on. But we had such a hard time with my first, we didn't know to bring in the Velcro swaddles. Could not get him swaddled right for the life of us. And then with my second, we brought our own swaddles and it was a lifesaver. We loved it so much. So I'm bringing my own swaddles. So definitely something you wanna consider bringing. Since my baby is a girl, I'm bringing some head bows just to put them on her. I know the hospital provides you like a hat with a little bow on it, but I just thought these bows would be super cute, especially for like pictures of like she's here. So I'm just bringing just a couple bows. <laughs> and of course she needs one for her going home outfit too. I am bringing a couple options for a going home outfit. Like I said, I'm not really gonna dress her while she's in the hospital. The hospital has like those like half shirt um, onesies and then they just put them in a diaper and that's just kind of it. While they're in the hospital, they really don't need clothes, but for going home, I have a couple options. I don't know which one I want to put her in. I guess it'll just see like what she looks like and then kind of decide from there. But I just have like some cute options. Like this one is a little bare. This one I thought was really pretty. It's got like pretty flowers on it. And then this one has flowers on it too. These are all newborn sizes because I'm pretty sure she's gonna be small. With my boys, I think I brought newborn and zero to three month options because I was worried that they were gonna be bigger. But with her being a girl, I'm pretty sure she's gonna be pretty tiny. I also have this hat for baby girl. It actually has her name on the other side, but I'm not revealing her name yet, so I'm not gonna turn it around and show you guys. But I got this off of Etsy, and this is a really cute hat um, to display like when she's born, like her birth picture. And also I plan on using these for her newborn pictures as well, but it's this really soft jersey knit material and it has her name on the front, so it's super cute. I also have this Just Born sticker that I'm gonna use. It's like part of a collection that I got that has like 
my first milestones and then like first holidays and so one of them was just born so i'm gonna have that for pictures if you can't tell i'm gonna take a lot of pictures of this baby i mean who wouldn't last thing baby wise that i'm gonna bring is just a soothe pacifier i am not against introducing pacifiers right off the bat i know some people say to wait and to only do your breasts for the first couple weeks i did that with my um, firstborn and then with my second born I was like screw it and so I introduced the pacifier like right at the beginning and it, I didn't find any nipple confusion or anything like that in fact my kids only liked the pacifiers for a couple weeks and then they were just never really big pacifier kids so I am planning on bringing this just so that she can Suck on a pacifier if she needs it. It's honestly a lifesaver, especially if your boobs are killing you and you've already nursed and she just needs something to suck on. Highly suggest bringing a pacifier. I'm not sure that the hospital um, supplies these. I don't think they do. So if you're um, planning on introducing a pacifier, I definitely recommend bringing one. As for me, it's not as cute or fun as the girl baby clothes, but one thing I am going to bring is this robe. It's just um, a simple maternity robe. I got it from a pee in the pod. I used this for my second pregnancy. With my first, I didn't know to bring a robe, and so I had to just use like the gowns that they provide you in the hospital, which are fine, but like they're not super comfy. And so for my second, when I had him in the hospital, I brought this robe and I just lived in it. It was so comfy, it's so soft, it's not like hospital gown, it's just, it's so much better. I highly recommend bringing your own robe. Along with the robe, I just have like a little nightgown that I wear and it also is breastfeeding friendly so you can unhook the latches and whip out your boobs because <laughs> you're going to be nursing a lot. Um, so I wore that a lot in the hospital and at home after you have the baby. And then I'm also bringing just some stretchy shorts to go with it just in case I wanna wear that. I'll probably end up bringing my maternity sweatpants too in case the hospital is cold at night. Might be, it might not. I did wanna mention one thing that I am bringing but I have not put in my bag yet is a sound machine. My husband and I like to introduce a sound machine right off the bat. I think it really helps get their days and nights um, start to figure out because obviously when you first have a baby they are up all night and asleep all day it seems like and so from like the first night we try to do sound machine and dim lights as soon as nighttime comes and just keep that routine and then the morning no sound machine you can take naps throughout the day but you know uh, until they're like on a scheduled nap routine we don't really do the sound machine during the day but we didn't do that with our first, we did do it with our second. I felt like it helped with our second, so we're gonna bring it. Also, I am bringing nursing bra. I think I'm bringing like one or just probably just one. This is a new one I got from Target. Nursing bras are really great because just like the cami I was showing you guys, they unhook and so you can just whip your boob out and then hook it back up. So I will be wearing that. I'm packing some fuzzy socks. You really don't want to be barefoot on the hospital floors just because, like, sure they clean them and they mop them, but like, they are not sanitary. Like, it's a hospital. So I plan on wearing some socks anytime I have to like walk around. I also need to pack some flip flops for the shower just because again, like, it's just not sanitary. So make sure you're bringing flip flops for the shower and some socks so you don't have to have your bare feet touch the floor. I'm also bringing some coming home outfits for me. So I'm just packing like one stretchy short sleeve shirt, um, just cause I don't know what the weather's gonna be. We're gonna have her end of March, beginning of April. And so the weather changes every day. Some days are warm, some days are cold. So I'm bringing one short sleeve shirt and then one long sleeve shirt. These are not maternity shirts. They're just kind of stretchy, regular shirts. Because as you know, once you have a baby, you still have like a five month pregnant belly. Like it takes a while for the belly to go down. So 
Um, definitely make sure you bring some stretchy clothes. I might wear my maternity jeans. That's what I'm wearing right now. And I remember wearing those for a while as the belly goes down or I might just pack some yoga pants just to be comfy. I am bringing a extra long phone charger. You've probably seen this in a million videos. It's like the number one thing that everybody says to bring because the plugs are usually on the wall like way behind you, your bed, and very hard to get to and so you're gonna want something kind of longer um, to reach because you're not gonna wanna like get out of bed <laughs> for a while. I'm bringing a bunch of travel size stuff, travel size deodorant, shampoo and conditioner. I don't know how your hospital is because I've been looking at different like what to bring in your hospital bag and a lot of people say that their hospital provides shampoo for um, patients. When we went with my second born, I totally forgot to pack the shampoo. I don't know what I was thinking, I just forgot and they for some reason didn't have any shampoo for us so they had to go and like get us baby shampoo that they use for the infants and that's what we had to use to shower with so i will not make that mistake again and i'm bringing my own i'm also bringing a hairbrush i'm gonna pack my makeup bag like last minute toothbrush toothpaste obviously all that stuff as well i'm just waiting for it to get a little closer and then i'm also bringing nipple cream you're gonna want to put nipple cream on like as soon as you start breastfeeding because if you don't your nipples will be feeling it trust me it hurts this is my favorite kind of nipple cream this is the lancino lanolin nipple cream it's just look for the purple bottle i don't know this is like the best i'm also gonna bring this just to see it's called boob ease <laughs> organic nipple balm just to have like some varieties. I think the hospital will provide you with like tiny travel size nipple cream if you want but this the purple one I swear by. Also I did this for my previous two pregnancies and it seemed to help too. If you excrete a little breast milk and rub it on your nipple that seems to help as well. Other things that you should definitely bring are your insurance card that we will bring like last minute. And then of course my husband hasn't packed any of his stuff yet. He's a last minute packer so he will add <laughs> all of his stuff. Hopefully we have enough time for him to add his stuff before we head to the hospital. But all in all, that's kind of it for what I'm bringing in my hospital bag to the hospital. Really not that much, kind of just the bare minimum. Like I said, the hospital will have a ton of stuff for you. And if your hospital is like mine, they're allowing visitors now, so you could always have a loved one come and drop something off or go have your husband go pick something up if you really need something. But nine times out of 10, the hospital will have it, especially if it has anything to do with the baby. So that is everything that I'm bringing. Let me know down below if you have anything that I didn't um, mention that you swear I should have. I feel like I have a pretty good gauge on what I would need, but I'm always up for suggestions. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Good luck if you are an expecting mama watching this, trying to figure out how you're gonna <laughs> prepare for the biggest day of your life, <laughs> or one of the biggest days of your life. And uh, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.